All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for 86, episode 8. eight. Mm. Even more dead. Lots more dead. All oh, according 13. to plan. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Put into the ground by a trap, not just of the legions making, nope. but also a kill zone specifically because a hey, y'all are just too good. So exactly, get get get, get put six feet under. It's a compliment, already. really. You know, mm -hmm. it's, they're they're just beating the system. So now they just have to yeah do yeah. whatever they can to make sure that they die. And okay. because of the way that. Um, things are set up with regards to what Shin knows about mm -hmm. the Legion's um, technology and advancements. Yep. Um, the, uh, well, the Republic is unwittingly, potentially unwittingly, um, giving the Legion uh, mm -hmm. meals, basically. And specifically choice meals. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the soldiers that are most effective at surviving and then maybe turning them over to the enemy. Mm -hmm. There's something poetic about that. I feel like there's something really sick and poetic about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, Lena knows the situation now, so I'm sure she definitely won't get into any trouble when she creates a stir because she freaks out and is like, what the hell? Yeah, you know? we're, we're kind of headed to that point in this story <laughs> where you can tell it makes sense that by about episode 12 or 13, we're going to have some kind of mid-season finale where it's going to dramatically shake up the status quo. Right. And Uncle Carl Stahl won't be able to keep, keep her safe any longer. Nope, nope. And yep. she might get demoted. Uh, she might get promoted, hey. depending on how this works, too. Yeah, she might um, get voluntold into some places, too. Yeah, that's also possible. You know, we're going to take a nice helicopter ride, you know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's possible, you know? Um, but this is a situation for the Spearhead Squadron where they have a long-range artillery dealio uh -huh. that that could not just be, you know, a problem with the trap, but also a problem with just all future In encounters. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. um, now, because it also seems to be one in such a case where they don't have to... Um, they don't have to really worry about the shots, you know, hitting the target dead on because it's so far away. And because of that, the bodies inside the uh, the mechs are harvestable, even being hit by this super long range, you Possible. know, yeah. thing here. So yeah. I'm hoping problem. that at some point they manage to, like, find that artillery emplacement and hijack it. And then they just, the 13 of them or the 8 of them or whoever are left alive are just like, okay, we're in here. We're going to try and defend this position. And then they and turn it on the Republic. shoot the shit out of anything that comes close or the Republic. Yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of the thing I think that they're the most scared of, the, the Republic, I mean. Is mm -hmm. that they're like, ah, yes, we're going to keep giving them weapons technology. But, but, but wait a minute, sir. Don't they hate us? Like, yes. But like, they're far away and, you know, with how... It, it's fine. We, we have, have anything long range. Sure, sir, sir. What if the Legion <laughs> developed something long range? They would never do that. that doesn't the the Legion doesn't sense. develop new weapons. That doesn't sound like them. They're there on the way out. They <laughs> right, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, the latest data from uh, Lena suggests a long range cannon that we've never seen on the battlefield. Ah, uh, she's just one of those 86 sympathizers. Yeah, Don't she, listen she, to her. She's, she'll, she'll make up anything, hard, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm waiting for that moment where we find out who in the Republic are the complete idiots and who are the ones who are like, oh no, we know. We, we know, know we're, we're fucked. fucked. We just rather keep everything peaceful while we are. while we try and figure out a solution, <laughs> right. or while we build a space arc to leave I, this fucking just, planet. Uh, you know, for real. <laughs> I will just say the "I told you so" is going to be so cathartic. Oh yeah, it's like, true. So cathartic. Yeah, definitely. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh. <sighs> Rip. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Fucking glory to the Spearhead oh. Squadron. <laughs> Alright, let's go! It's time to die! <laughs> yep. You see how this group has gotten bigger? 
Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Apparently, we've been missing in. That's the, all the uh, dead the people. Yeah, that's all the people that have died in the. the oh my god! Stuff. And it's just been slowly getting bigger. Yeah. Wow. Just go die. Wow. Not even phased. Mm. <sighs> Alright, here it is. Because if there is a thing you can do, then how can you live with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Were. Were. Okay. Wait. Wait. Wow. What if? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Yeah. But yeah, it probably, probably is. Yeah. Uh -huh. <gasps> That change in the voice. Yeah. Oh, we're not done. <gasps> yeah, yeah, it's definitely Shannon. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, definitely. Hmm. Definitely. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's how they developed the... Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. All right. It's a form of mild psychic ability. Assisted psychic connections. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's probably the other reason why it's really good. Mm-hmm. The Legion can't hack it. Yeah. Unless they actually get a receiver, right? Right. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah. And she also feels guilty for that, because if she had convinced him to help the kids, then maybe that wouldn't have happened in the first place. Right. <sighs> well, it's all out in the open now. So, I mean, hey, having this conversation, like, she probably hasn't talked about any of this stuff ever. Oh, man. How long have those thoughts been circling around in there? Wow. And we just gotta doing that. treat She's all that man. with this just terrifying piano in the background. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ah. I was wondering when we'd see him again. Not in his office. No. As he's staring at the statue that is the representation of the... Mm -hmm. of the country. They're false. Wow. We gotta sweep it all under the rug. Jesus. Wow. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, and then within a couple generations, they'll just right. get taught as if, you know, there was nothing. Uh -huh. So, no oh one would really god. know. Oh. 
<laughs> ah, he's also giving the, this is who we're, you know, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a line though. Yeah, they're just a different, um, they're just a different response or emotional response to the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> well, he's he's trying to make her feel better about this so hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did she clue in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've overstepped mm -hmm. your bounds. Well, this is the me. last mission. Don't, you know, I don't want you to listen as we die. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Whoa. Shit. Expedition. Okay. あ、あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ
And yep. so will she Zero succumb to despair. We will see. We will we see. We have Shin, who has had the <sighs> shittiest of lives. Yeah. And now has to go and uh, save his brother by killing him. Right. What's... What's... Okay. Yeah, that's the ultimate despair, basically. Mm -hmm. Having this whole thing be turned around to where you kill a loved one just to make sure that they don't suffer anymore. Man, at this point, I'm thinking, like, you know, becoming an, a Legion member is not an entirely <laughs> bad idea. You know, if you give yourself to them so that that way your brain is intact and everything, you just live on in a robot body, you know? And then you get your yeah, revenge yeah, against every, the Republic, you know? Wins, yeah. You can be with your brother, and uh, it'll, it'll be great, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is something we'll have to ask the comments for just in general, like, oh, like uh -huh. the, the Discord and stuff like that. Like, y'all... Were we wrong in how many people were surviving? Right, um, we thought there were still 13. Yeah, and, and then there were suddenly five, and we recognize all the ones that were alive, but we're like, wait, wh where did all the other ones go? Because they were very clearly shown in the previous episode right. and hanging out with them. Now, maybe there weren't 13 and there were close to, to nine, and then uh -huh. it said in today's battle, four more died. Right. So just four more just died off screen. Yeah, because because what I what I'm. But I I guess that's that that makes sense, kind of. Right. What I'm what I'm what I'm figuring it up. must be because the previous episode had a bunch of like out of order events, you know, like in the episode, and it was it was wonderful and all that. <laughs> that maybe it was something where there was the people that died at the beginning that were shown, but then there were there was also people that died after. And yeah, then, yeah. But we checked the dates know. and stuff like that, so I think yeah. we've got the right kind of look on it, but. We could um, use some clarification. Yeah, we could use some clarification. So uh -huh. pass that on to uh, mods in the Discord and stuff like that, and they'll yeah. pass it on to us. But, okay, so um, we now know a little bit more about uh, Shin's brother. Yeah. And not only have we seen things eerily from his perspective, which was really cool. <laughs> that was so awesome. Um, and, 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 and sad. Um, yes. We, we might know a little bit more about what went down here. Right. So Annette had mm -hmm. neighbors yep what do you know they had an older brother who's a lot older and then a younger brother mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds really familiar I, gee oh they had some drawings together that were referenced in the uh mm -hmm. the little uh archive place that she went to the little library yep oh what do you know um in the photo that she had there all along uh -huh. um there were some people in the background that yep. have certain hair colors and certain mm -hmm. dispositions and indeed wait, wait, wait a minute there's yeah. a possibility that things were going this way and then also we have a very clear kind of, you know, the mom was probably 86, mm -hmm. the dad was not. Oh, okay, there's some very clear, like, stuff going on there. Ah, mm, yeah. okay, mom was then requisitioned as an item God, to that, then go to the front lines. Some of the background to, details in this to show. To probably go to one of the camps or something. Now... Now, there's a very real possibility mm -hmm. that this doesn't apply because th th she said that the whole family was sent to the camps. Now, it could still be the case, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I believe the one that if has they're saying that the dad was a Alba. Alba. I believe Anju that, is the one that had an Alba uh, parent. No, no, no. Like, like that's that's the thing. It, it could be them as well. Like they. Oh yeah, it's possible, and they just don't have the the sort of like off white hair. Yeah, they they wouldn't necessarily. The, sure, their genes are not you know. Yeah, a, but there there wasn't there wasn't an Alba that saved Shin. That, that makes a that, lot of that could have been their dad. That yeah, it, well it's it's something where that that's also something where if that well, eh, I I feel, it felt like it was something where maybe we should have recognized the character, but I wasn't entirely sure. I think um, they're implying that that's his dad because okay. mom was sent off to die. Gotcha. Dad, there's nothing about dad. Okay. I, maybe, maybe I'm forgetting. There was the... one order with a number and letters and stuff like that on the, the little thing that he got. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I guess if it was established that, that they uh, their their parents were, one was Alba and one was 86. I, I, I don't remember. But... I'll have to go back and double check on that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But I, I don't think it's worth um, ruling out that it's a necessarily a, an Alba that we, we should recognize mm -hmm. um so yeah. yeah but so that happened and on the republic side of things elena went through every avenue she could think of in order to get help anyone that'll listen all her you know friends and family and all that stuff all of them shot her down some in spectacular fashion mm -hmm. right 
Annette. That was yeah. great. That was a wonderful perspective of like, even though Annette has a very particular position within the Republic of the the average Republic citizen, basically, that had to go through the process of suddenly the 86 all getting sent off, right? right? Because, you know, again, the war's only been going on for nine years, right? So, like, like they lived through the transition, right? You know, yeah, yeah, you have the childhood friends that suddenly are gone, and what does it take for someone to basically be put into a situation where then they 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 buckle under the pressure, yeah, and they just say, you know what? Hey, it's not me, and you know, I don't I don't like this this like I don't like getting called names at school because you know because I was a I was mm -hmm. a friend with an eighty six, so you know, yeah. ostracize them. Yeah, no, dad, don't help them. Oh, dad suddenly ends up killing himself because he. D didn't help the 86 and then after was doing human experimentation on, on 86 them. children yeah yeah that's yeah that tracks that tracks mm -hmm. and then she doesn't have any way to deal with this right because no. it's like the she probably feels all kinds of guilt if not for the 86 that died for her dad right mm -hmm. but who does she talk about this with right Nobody. and so then it just it just it just festers, just festers inside there yeah. and then Lena is constantly you know trying to do the right thing do the thing that she didn't do right mm -hmm. yeah and so of course she blows up at her and I... <sighs> yeah. yeah yeah it's it's a it's a thing where they they hope as a as a as a group that mm -hmm. they can just clean this all out and Forget just it wash happened. it wash yep. it all out and then there oh, won't be man. any stain upon them as a yep. as a group or as a people or as even individuals but Pure and clean society but um oh yes let's let's just let's just run let's just run that through even logically here mm. let's say you do end up you know succeeding in this regard let's say sure. you do actually end up beating the the, the legion let's mm -hmm. say all this goes this way. There's going to be so many people like um, uh, Annette who will just blow up, pass on basically the dark story, the 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 the, the well, thing there, hmm. and then you could end up basically creating a dissonant, you know, underground of people that are like Possible. needing yeah. needing basically you know closure on that oh whole but that's all a process. that's all a conspiracy nobody actually believes that stuff and then two three generations later you know it's just like well that, that was that was there the was thing. some mental health problems around that time you know but yeah, that, well, that's that, about it yeah that know? was the thing that i was uh i was basically talking about in the episode but it's um it's something where i i i get really just eerie vibes from this because we have many examples in history of this kind of thing um, working mm. um, um, in terms of that the actual like people groups do get wiped out. Right, and then it's just... And then they get mentioned. They don't get forgotten that much. They get mentioned in like very small, small ways. Right, a, a footnote in the history books maybe. Right, right. But we're also talking about some of the things where this is stuff that happened, you know, like thousands of years ago as well sure where it's easier for a civilization to just disappear yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. and in, and and if there isn't someone that's actively trying to wipe their existence from history you know you you don't have to worry about like oh the history books just sort of redact you know all mentions of you know no, the six I, I mentions mean, of yeah you know, this people group yeah in, in some ways it's it's something where it's the you think like oh well because they're mentioned then you know that's that's fine but then there's these other things where it's like no 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 if you look closer you'll you'll realize that there were a whole bunch of other things that we know we lost to time mm -hmm. about this people group or about this culture and it's just no nope. we we have no way of knowing it was so long ago there's no like <sighs> yeah it's it's yeah. it's depressing it's sad you can um you can you can look throughout history and find many examples of this but yeah it's 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 scary i think because annette is not a a point of like someone special really within the republic right she's the example of the every person mm -hmm. that has just enough kind of um unique position within the republic that oh right uh she gets to talk to lena the main character and and that that's stuff. and it's a very believable and i would say even optimistic example 
right? Like, then there's all the other people who actually just genuinely hate the 86 and think that they're inhuman, you know, yeah, and or, all that or stuff. just they're so apathetic that they don't. Right, that they aren't even guilt. bothered by it, right? Yeah, they're not even bothered. They, yeah. they are happily, comfortably able to look the other way, and because they didn't have the, the, you know, specific situations, say, right. of growing up next to like, an 86, like losing, right? Like, also, like, losing a father to suicide. Yeah, yeah, ex yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They, you know, then it's just, oh, yeah, that was maybe a little bit uncomfortable for me to think about, you know, for, like, six months, mm -hmm. back when it first happened, when, you know, they were all sent away. But then I just sort of, you know, yeah, you forget just about it, you move it, on. It worked itself out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, right? It's it's the whole thing of where we like to believe that we would be Lena if we were in those situations, but in reality, we probably wouldn't even be a net. No. Like, you know, no, so... It's, it's, it's in, yeah. the, in the words of Annie Leonhardt, it's really hard to go against the flow. Right. And it's really upsetting, in, in, in my, 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 my humble opinion, to look at yourself, and I mean, like, really, like, look at yourself and think about it. Are you a go-against-the-flow kind of person? It's nothing, there's nothing wholly good or bad about right. going against the flow yeah. or even going with the flow. In the words but, of Annie Leonhardt again, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, think about it. Don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself. Which one are you? Mm -hmm. Are you someone that goes against the flow or are you someone that takes the easy road when, right. you know, basically, you know, culture, society, or what have you is telling you, well, you know, just do this. It's, it's legal. So, mm -hmm. you know, this yeah. is the way it right. works, you know, or, oh, this is, you know, what things have been mandated. It's you like, can't mm. change anything. So why bother? Right. 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 I, I love how in this situation here, we, we truly know the struggle now of what Lena would be up against. And she knows the struggle of what she would be up against because to truly try and go against the flow and not just have it be general platitudes or whatever that your mm -hmm. uncle can like shush you know right this is what you're up against right yeah to the point where even the spearhead squadron members they're like no i mean it would have been nice if she said goodbye but like mm -hmm. please we don't yeah. want you to listen to us dying you know yeah like just your, your job's done whatever Go about your comfortable life because, hey, at least you have a comfortable life, right? I, like, mm -hmm. I, I love that it's that it's to the point where they do genuinely care about her even as they're going off to die, right? Mm -hmm. But now... Because they also don't believe they can do anything about right, it. Right, because they don't believe they can do anything either. Yeah, exactly. Like, like we had the rule of three with that this episode, you know? Yep. Annette, Carl Sarl, and Shin, right? All saying you can't do anything, you know, it's okay, right? right? Don't... Don't off yourself because you're you're so ridden with guilt. You're like, I should have been able to do something. Yeah, and I don't want you to hear the death throes of my brother. <laughs> right, right, exactly. When I go to do this, it's yeah. like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. But now it's like, okay, but what is Lena going to do? Because when we ended the episode, we didn't really touch on her too much. No, you know? because we shifted perspectives. We shifted so, perspectives. So, so. so now, now it's five of them mm -hmm. going up against, um, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, the brother. Holy let's, shit! Let's, let's see it. Uh huh. Uh, the the eerie shots uh, of him like with the heads up display and then seeing his face like getting all fragmented and stuff. Uh huh. I I, I can't I can't wait for that. That was so I cool. Can't, I, I can't wait for like a fight now. Obviously, in some ways, for this show, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense for them to focus on the fight unless um, Shin's going to win. Right, because the the outcome of that they're all going to die as a result of this battle it's such a done deal yeah other than maybe seeing some of their final moments or seeing shin take out his brother yeah there's the conflict is not a conflict yeah the narrative the narrative does not necessarily support something like that being a success right unless we're going to focus on it then it's almost guaranteed to be a success so mm -hmm. therefore prediction next yeah. episode um Lena's gonna have to pull something crazy here. I and I, I really, I really think the time skip from one day to the next mm -hmm. is a very clear, open kind she of. She did shit in that time. Stuff of time could have been done uh -huh. there. So we'll oh, yeah. see. We'll see what that might entail. Um, so, uh, but I want, I want then if we're if we're getting that, mm -hmm. then I want the focus to be a big ass action episode yes, yes, where we absolutely. get into some of the mechanics of what a shepherd can do of yeah. what um 
what kind of ways in which um, Shin and his brother can interact with each other while in this space. Because they right. did drop the lore bombs of, oh, there were psychics. Right. There's a reason for why Shin can do this stuff. And there's a reason as to why the para raid is such a perfect bit mm -hmm. of technology for yep. the um, 86 and the Republic to use against the Legion. Right. Because like you were saying in the episode, if it's based on a psychic connection that is then mechanically mechanically like given receptors for that, you like, know, you don't you don't yeah. like intercept that message unless you get the one of the transceivers on the other end, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. Then you, just, then you just end the connection, you know. Right, right. So so, so it's like okay. So it's eerie, eerie, especially mm -hmm. to think about because I, I want to bring something up here. Every single eighty six member that is getting harvested mm -hmm. is hooked up to para raid. Which yeah. means then that the Legion is getting access to para raid technology right at a limited scale mm -hmm. these are just receivers yep you know they can't um right i'm sure there's there's they can't broadcast a big signal from it exactly they probably can the talk republic. back to their handler but that, that's about it they right can't. and that's and that's probably something that the republic intentionally set up so that the 86 couldn't communicate with each other they right. have all the relay well, stations or right. whatever they have just the ear works. bits and then it's uh lena that has the big neck thing right so so yeah, hers is more advanced, has more capabilities and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But this means this means that there could be some shit that goes down in in the technology side mm -hmm. of things if um, if the Legion keeps getting um, more yeah more uh, receivers basically. So fan fiction, what I would love to see, uh -huh. what I think would just be so cool. Yeah, they're doing the fight. It's crazy. They're horribly outnumbered, right? And then Lena comes in on like a chopper or something, <laughs> like like boom, just shot out of the well, sky okay. immediately. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking she, about? She she does something. No, no, she pulls no, no, some no, no, shit. No, 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 no. You know, helicopter is like the dumbest shit. Like that. okay, all right, not a helicopter then, but like you know, but like something, right? Now of course she isn't any good at the mechs, right? Like uh, maybe she's okay with the mechs, but you know she's not an actual like frontline soldier. But like I feel like this. Is the situation where Lena pulls something out of her ass? I think it's just she just gives them to the support. Front lines and no, I, I think oh, okay. I think it's just at the very least she needs to give them some kind of support. Her gotcha. her doing something awesome. She she'd be Is, useless on the front lines. <laughs> sure. I'm talking about doing something that would actually be tactically helpful mm -hmm. for this encounter. At the bare minimum, she gives them like actual radar support and stuff like sure. that. Figures and figures out and a way for them to escape, you know. Yeah, or then because of the data that she gets from them live while they're doing this, she then learns something about the shepherd in the middle of the fight and is like, oh shit, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, okay, uh, let's 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 figure out how we can do right. this thing, you know? I, I'm, I'm very I, excited to see how the next episode yeah, goes. Yeah, because we're basically about to face a... A, a titan like right. like, a, like, like a, a person exactly. in a titan here yeah this, this is this is that kind of moment right this feels like story taking back trust type stuff or yeah, or yeah. in another series this feels like it should be this the series finale right like, yeah i don't but, but <sighs> it's not going to be of course but yeah, like yeah. but like i don't feel like there's only it is, five of them no i don't i don't feel like this is the the series finale though because this is actually mm -hmm. just a this is just a side character main characters you know um uh, right uh, companion arc influence mission uh, sure. their 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 backstory getting kind of focused mm -hmm. here but no there's there's but what if yeah what it's not gonna happen but what if they did all die no and then it's the next squad no yeah no I know, I, it's not gonna happen no it, it but like there's so many episodes yeah. left and they've been killing them off so quickly up until now mm -hmm. like there's there's only five like yeah. what do you do at that point do they start getting plot armor because it's like okay we can't kill them that quickly no, you, you know just, you just throw in a ration uh, out the character death no no you just throw characters. in a new squad sure you yeah. have them no longer return back to the spot ah right they're they're presumed they dead go they they're go presumed rogue. dead they yeah, go rogue yeah. and then the new squad comes in you get fresh blood and all that stuff cool, and then cool, they cool, have cool. to find a way to have them viva la revolution use the new spearhead squadron as recruits basically right. for the eventual revolution and the yeah. way that they fake their deaths is because they hijack the big machine <laughs> and then they are going around oh. in legion like max you know just a rogue legion, a rogue AI from the rogue AI. And then right. they harvest them in a way that makes it look like they're dead. Right. But they're not. Uh-huh. They... Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. shit. Wait. And then the big artillery one is their mobile command fortress, you know? And they just... They just go around, and then that's also how they can fight back against the Republic, because then they have a new bit of gear that the Legion doesn't even really have, because this is the prototype, you know? And uh, then it's the- Okay, okay, okay. I, I, liked, I liked it when it was just them hijacking the, 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 the unit. But... Well, but like, if this is the end of Act 1, by the end of Act 3, it's gonna be full on, like, well, like, yeah, I think at, power, I think at right? this point, like, though, I think at this point, though, if the show continues after this, it's not ending this season. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. there's no way. There's no way. Like, because you would have to restart a whole new segment, uh, section of things in terms of the, the status quo. Like, yes, but the world has been very well established so that we'd have a good foundation to work on. Mm, no, we don't like, know enough people in the Republic. We don't know enough uh, yeah. of what the Legion's doing. No, I, I, I disagree. Mean, I mean, two, like, two-thirds of the, of, you know, the, the, the season, that's, that's, a, that's a long time to get stuff done. Yeah. I can yeah. see it. I can see it. Yeah. But all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.